Hello guys, welcome to another video of the course. In this video, we are going to complete the motor geometry and we are going to create the rotor geometry. So we created the stator geometry in the previous video and now let's create the rotor geometry. So this is the rotor of our single phase induction motor you can see the rotor here and the rotor cage that is made from aluminium and this is the rotor shaft so i cut the rotor to be able to measure the rotor slot dimensions here you can see the process so this is the rotor lamination after cutting it from its middle and now I can see the geometry of the rotor slots and consequently I can measure the rotor slot dimensions. So here uh, this image shows the stator core and rotor core right so for creation of the rotor geometry again i select this face and create a new sketch so i can draw a circle here and other circle and the press k okay. so let's set the diameter of these two circles this is the shaft diameter the shaft diameter that is equal to 8 shaft diameter is equal to 8 and also i should specify the diameter of the outer rotor surface for this i need to know the 8 gap thickness the air gap thickness is equal to 0.5 so the air gap thickness is equal to 0.5 and the stator diameter is equal to 48 so 48 minus 2 times 0.5 that is the air gap length is the diameter of the outer rotor surface so i can exit the sketch and then I can use the extruded boss. So uh, here I select up to surface and I select this surface. Press OK. That is a solid hollow cylinder for the rotor. Then I can select this surface and create a new sketch to be able to draw the rotor a slot geometry so i draw a geometry something like this conceptually i will edit this and i press ok so i select the center line and i select the middle of this line so Again, let's consider the geometrical constraints. Let's consider the geometrical constraints. I place this line on this point. Coincident. Okay, select these two points and this line. Symmetric. I press okay. This line is in horizontal direction and uh, also I select these two points, this symmetric, okay, these two points, this center line, symmetric, okay. 
also I select these two points and this center line symmetric. Okay. And let's remove this line to be able to draw an arc. I place the arc center here and draw this arc. And let's place this point on this point. Right. So I press OK. Now let's set the rotor slot size. I have rotor slot size here. This is the value of rotor slot opening that is equal to 1 mm here, BR0 that is equal to 1 mm. I write here equal to 1. And I press OK. So let's set the geometry here. I reduce the radius. We should specify proper constraints. So now I draw a center line here. Again, a center line here. I press OK and I should set this angle. That is the half of the rotor slot pitch angle. The number of rotor bars is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. That is equal to 22. That is equal to 22. Actually, if I select all of aluminum objects, you can see this number here. 22 objects are selected. So, number of rotor bars is equal to 22. 180 divided by 22. Press OK. And I select this center line, this line, and I place a parallel constraint and okay so now we should set the value of h0 here and also h excuse me hr0 and hr1 and hr2 that is 0.518.5 so to be able to set these uh, dimensions I can use this option here. So this is 1. This is the value of HR1. And also I can use this method. I can draw a center line. And select these two points. Vertical. Okay, and apply this dimension here. This is equal to 0.5 HR0. I press OK. Finally, this distance, this distance is equal to uh, HR2 rotor start depth is equal to 8.5. This is equal to 8.5. And I press OK. The width of rotor tooth is equal. The width of rotor tooth is equal 3. You can see here the width of the rotor tooth is equal to 3. So I write here 3. OK. Finally, I can select this arc, this line, and use the tangent constraint. So, this is the geometry of rotor uh, slot. And I press OK. Now, again, I can use extruded cut. So, 
instead of uh, all bodies i select this one selected bodies i select this body and from here i select through all both so i press ok you can see one rotor slot here and i can use circular pattern select this axis one and i should select this feature this extruded card 22 360 divided by 22 so i press ok right this is the rotor core and i should create the uh, rotor aluminium in each slot as you know the a slot is totally filled with the aluminium so i select this face create sketch and i select all of these edges convert entities this time because exactly i want to select uh, these edges and draw them again on the New sketch and I draw an arc here. I draw an arc here. And uh, let's check why I cannot draw the arc. Select this arc, select the origin. Select draw this arc and then let's place this point on this point and this point on this point. So this is a closed loop in this sketch. I exit the sketch and now I select extruded cut, uh, excuse me, extruded boss up to surface, this surface and i uncheck this option here do not merge the results right if you on uh, if you don't uncheck this option uh, you merge this geometry to the uh, rotor core so you don't have to separate objects so i don't merge results and i have the rotor bar here this object, I can change the material for better visualization. For example, not important, just I want to ch change its color. Right? So, this is the uh, rotor bar. And again, I select the circular pattern, select this axis, and select this object. 22 the angle is 360 divided by 22 press ok right so this is the motor geometry suitable for two dimensional analysis we created the stator core uh, rotor core stator winding and rotor cage so save the solid work model and export the model into the desktop in the STEP file format. So I used the SolidWorks software, but you can use your CAD software and generate the STEP file. I save as the model into a STEP file and I press save. So, as you can see, I have the step file here. The step file here. Single phase induction motor. So, now let's create a new project and insert a Maxwell 3D design from the modeler import single phase induction motor model and open 
So we imported the motor model, three-dimensional model of the motor. Then I can create a 2D design. Uh, what is the section plane is XY and 2D geometry mode is XY. I press OK. So this is the imported geometry, a stator, rotor, a stator winding, a stator coils, and rotor bars. So, okay, I think it's enough for this video, and let's continue the course from the next video. Thanks for watching.